Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to day six of haul week. Today I'm doing a premium high street haul. So this is kind of like the higher top end of the high street, the more expensive stuff, the ones that kind of bridge that gap between really affordable high street stuff and designer. It's kind of that middle ground. So the price points are higher, but the quality is definitely there. So if you're looking to invest in some more long-term luxury pieces for your wardrobe, then this is the video for you. Before I start, please do subscribe to my channel if you are new here today. And if you're already subscribed, please do turn on notifications for my channel by clicking on the little bell icon so you never miss a video and don't forget I will also put a playlist of all the hauls I've posted this week down below in the info box and also in the top right hand corner of your screen on the little eye icon you can click it at any time to go and watch the other hauls. So the stuff I have today is actually mainly shoes and accessories and a couple of staple fashion pieces and that's because I personally prefer putting my money and spending a little bit more on shoes and accessories. I love affordable clothing because it means you can get more <laughs> for your money and also if you're taste change quite often and fashion changes. I buy so much because I always want new stuff and I always want to be wearing new things so it's definitely better for me if they are more affordable. However I do like putting a little bit more money into my accessories because I also think you could be wearing a £15 dress from Primark but if you have a really nice bag and a good pair of shoes no one would ever know that it was £15 from Primark. So that's the first reason and also I found in the more higher price point shops like French Connection, Caramillan, um, Reese, Whistles, because they are more expensive I feel like the target audience is a little bit older and the stuff isn't really my style however of course there is one brand that is an exception and that's Ted Baker and I have a lot of stuff from Ted Baker to show you today it's kind of become a Ted Baker haul with a few other things thrown in and I just wanted to let you know that this video is not sponsored by Ted Baker um, I honestly just adore the brand as you guys have known for years so I just wanted to quickly let you guys know what you're in for also every single thing in this haul is pink so if pink is not your thing I'm so sorry Sorry, but it just happened everything that I seem to collect I've put it together in the end and I'm like oh my god everything's pink but that's just me and I think most of you like that anyway so um here we go so the first thing I wanted to show you is my new trench coat from Hobbs I've actually had this for a couple of weeks now um, but I wanted to include it in this haul because Hobbs is a premium high street brand this coat's around 200 pounds so it's expensive but it's such beautiful quality I've been getting so many comments on just what a lovely coat the difference between this and like the trench coats that you pick up on ASOS there's such a huge difference Friends. and because I have a bit of a trench coat fetish I do really appreciate the quality and I just think for something like this which is such a staple piece to have in your wardrobe for me this is something that I wear every single year all year round I wear these in winter time spring and summer year after year so it's really something that you can really comfortably put your money into I actually saw this in the window display at Hobbs and I stopped and went back to look and I was like oh my goodness I need that coat it's such a beautiful color it's perfect for spring it looks so so classic um, so I'm gonna try this on for you guys now so you can see what it looks like on. So here's my coat on. I love it so, so much. Honestly, I know it is a higher price point, but trust me, it's totally, totally worth it, especially for a coat that you can wear every day. You can wear it all year round for all seasons, also year after year, because trench coats just do not go out of style. And this color is just so, so perfect. The fit is lovely. I think you can tell that this is an expensive coat because it's made nicely. The fit is gorgeous. It also has this little button cape on the back. If you're looking for a new coat and you feel like you have the money to put a little bit of a bigger spend behind your coat, I would 100% recommend this. They do have it in a few colours as well. It's not just pink if this isn't really your thing, but of course it's just absolutely beautiful. <laughs> now I'm going to show you everything that I got from Ted Baker. There's so much. So the first thing I picked up to show you is this beautiful silk scarf. I love stuff like this in spring. You guys know I totally had like a moment last year for silk scarves, except they weren't really silk. I was buying them quite cheaply from H&M but they still looked really good. This is so so beautiful. It's their new like cherry blossom print. They have this all over their brand right now so it's on all the accessories, the bags which I have a couple to show you. It's even on dresses, jumpers, tops, jackets. A silk scarf just instantly makes your outfit look so much more like elegant and it just has that really like vintage glamour feel that I just love and it just looks so luxurious and you can wear them a few ways. You can just have them like long either side or you can wrap them round a bit more like a scarf you can tie them in a little necktie style you can do a little bow let's do a little bow you could also wrap this around the handle of your handbag which is going to look so so cute this is just such a beautiful accessory to add to your wardrobe for spring just to make everything look so much more elegant next from ted i have this gorgeous jumper and this actually i've also had for about six weeks and you guys may have already realized i actually bought this in gray um last like september i did it in an asos haul and then they brought it out in pink this spring and i was like 
oh my goodness I need it so the sleeves all actually cut out so you can see your arm here and then they're kind of connected by these gorgeous little bows although it's spring our weather is still quite cold like we don't really get heat until at least kind of like june i would say we have the odd nice day but mostly we do still kind of need to wear something relatively warm and this is a cashmere blend so it's super thin but really really cozy i had to show you guys this jumper because i just knew that you would love it as much as me so here's the jumper on sorry i'm not styling this very glamorously i just have my leggings on but i just wanted to show you how this kind of sleeve works so it's all cut out here it's almost like it's been cut and the bows are like sewing it back up together I just think it's so pretty. It's like still a really casual jumper, like it's really relaxed, but it just has this gorgeous detail, so it's just not boring. And you just don't find like gorgeous pieces like this everywhere. You really don't. This is why I love Ted Baker because this is just like my dream jumper. I picked up two bags from Ted Baker. I'm going to show you the first one now. Um, and it's unbelievably beautiful. So here's the bag. It's part of their like cherry blossom collection, which is unbelievable like i just think that's honestly the most beautiful thing i've ever seen i love this kind of saddlebag style they've been doing this for a while and i've had my eye on them for ages i really really wanted one they've done this kind of bag in quite a few different colors and i just love a crossbody in spring they're the best i just think when the weather gets a little bit warmer and you can start kind of shedding those layers not wearing like the big coat and not having to have layers and layers underneath um you kind of just want to like streamline your entire your entire outfit and i think just having a cute little bag like this that you can just throw over the shoulder um, is perfect. So here's a close-up of the bag so you can see all the details. All of this cherry blossom is actually embroidered which is even better um, and there are all these really cute little rose gold studs here as well which is such a beautiful detail and of course in true Ted Baker style all the hardware is rose gold so the clasp here and of course the chain. It's just so so stunning and it's the perfect like eye-catching um, accessory to quite a plain outfit um, if you're not really one of those people that goes really bold and over the top with your clothes and you just want something really simple like maybe a pair of jeans and like a nice white blouse like this if you just had this over your shoulder it's gonna make the whole thing look amazing next I have a couple of pieces from Ted Baker's loungewear range it's called Ted says relax and I really love this range when they brought it out I was really happy because for someone like me that actually does spend quite a lot of time in loungewear I think if you are working from home or if you're traveling a lot as well um, and you just want stuff that's really comfy but still has that premium feel and is really nice fabrics and for it to actually look nice as well and not look like you're in your pajamas then this range is perfect so the first thing I got to show you is this really cute little t-shirt it's this really lovely dusky pink and it says beauty sleep in rose gold writing and the fabrics on these are so so nice they're just really premium they just really don't look like sloppy over casual t-shirts like you made no effort they just look a lot nicer so here's the t-shirt I really love how this fits I love how the crew neck is quite high up even though it's still technically a crew neck it's not a high neck the whole fit of the t-shirt is really nice I feel like the way they've cut the sleeves like the length they've cut the sleeves that is also just gives you that really flattering look so even though it is just a t-shirt I kind of think it still looks really nice and then the other loungewear piece that I picked up is this jumper which says wake me for champagne and this is just a really cute oversized um, sweater perfect for like going on a plane journey if you just want to wear something nice um, or if you're just relaxing around the house or just running errands and you just want something to throw on on that's really comfy and casual but you do still want to look nice you don't want to look like you've just gone out on your tracksuit bottoms and kind of look a bit slobby the details on this are really cute so the wake me for champagne's embroidered and it kind of sticks out of the sweater that makes sense and also i love like the rose gold like glitter and i just really recommend checking out their entire loungewear range i've picked up like my couple of favorite pieces but they do have so much they have stuff in gray and black if pink isn't really your thing um and they also do like joggers this jumper is so nice you know what i love about about this is like slogan sweatshirts are really in fashion like they're a really trendy thing right now but that's just so not my thing at all and I feel like this jumper is as close to that trend as you can possibly go basically this is like the girliest most elegant feminine way of doing a slogan sweatshirt <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say I love the balloon sleeves they're so cute um, and I just feel like this is a really nice way to just do loungewear just you know throw on a jumper 
but yet you still look really really good you haven't just thrown on a sweater next i've got a pair of shoes and this is a pair of boots again that i've had in my wardrobe for like a month or so now but i wanted to include it in the haul and it's this beautiful pair of pinky purple suede chelsea boots these are so so pretty i wear um chelsea boots a lot in spring actually probably more than i do in autumn winter because as you guys know i don't really like wearing tights however in spring and summer i love wearing boots like this with bare legs and cute dresses I just think it's such a nice look and that's like what I wear all of the time and of course I love my classic brown Chelsea boots and tan boots but I do think a coloured pair is such a nice way to just refresh your wardrobe for spring and add something a little bit different so I'm going to give you guys a little close up they're a really lovely, subtle, easy to wear colour and they have cute little Ted Baker on the back the next thing I picked up is this cute little mini skirt and it's actually so rare for Ted Baker to do a mini skirt because they always pretty much just do midi skirts which are not really my thing like I do like them occasionally but I will always prefer a mini skirt I was really really excited to see this and of course in the signature baby pink and this gorgeous scallop detail which goes around the entire skirt it's so so pretty it's just one of those things that you'll have in your wardrobe that's just so so special okay so here's the skirt on I just literally popped it on with the top I was already wearing and I think it's a really really nice pairing. It is drooping down a little bit because I think I got it a bit too big. This is a size one um, and I think I should have got it maybe in the size down which is a zero just so it'd be really tight on my waist and stay up on my waist. It's kind of falling down a little bit but just for the purpose of this video I think you can tell how cute it is. I'm just going to go on my tiptoes as well so you can see the length. It's a really lovely length. It's mini but it's not an obscene mini like many stuff <laughs> that you see. We should try it with the bag. This bag is perfect. That sits at the perfect kind of hip length which I love. I hate it when crossbodies are like too long and they're down here. Um, that's a really, really good length. So it's just on my hip. And finally, the last thing I have to show you from Ted Baker, which by the way, honestly, there was just so much more I could have bought to show you because they had so much that's stunning. So I really had to hold back. But the last thing I got was another bag. And this is another one of the cherry blossom bags. This is actually way bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's much more of a proper, actual, everyday handbag, which is amazing. I thought it was going to be more like a crossbody. There's a lot of room in there. This would fit my laptop in, it would fit books in, um, it would fit a lot in. Oh my god, look! Look at that cute little flower on the inside. I'm obsessed. I like how it has a good over the shoulder strap as well and this would just make the perfect everyday handbag. This is a great bag to take to work because like I said it can fit so much stuff inside including laptops, folders. So it's the same cherry blossom pattern except these flowers look like they're more painted on rather than embroidered like the other bag but it still has all of the rose gold studs which is lovely and this gold hardware here. Imagine this being your everyday handbag. I just wouldn't be able to stop staring at it. So now I have a few pairs of shoes to show you because like I said um, I do like spending a little bit more on my footwear. I just feel like cheap shoes, they don't last, they wear and tear much more easily so they kind of look damaged and old much sooner and they're also just not often quite as comfortable. I just feel like well-made shoes, they're a little bit more expensive, just are so much more comfortable and they look much better for longer. So I would always much rather put more money into shoes than like a dress for example. So I have a pair of shoes from one of my favourite brands, Kurt Geiger. This is Carvella at Kurt Geiger. I love Kurt Geiger shoes. I do have quite a few pairs now that I've collected over the years and they're all just my favourite shoes. They just last so well and the styles are great. They're so comfortable. I just chose one pair, my favourite pair to show you and it's these. These are so, so cool. I love a sandal in spring. I feel like I always wear heeled sandals in spring and summer. I love an ankle strap. I just love the way they look. Um, many people say that you shouldn't wear them because it cuts off your legs and makes your legs appear shorter. Um, so I think it's totally up to you and your own body. I don't personally find that. They actually had these in a pinky nude as well, which I was quite tempted by, but I did prefer the white. I just thought these gold studs stood out much more on the white. So here are the shoes close up. As you can see, this gold stud detail is everywhere along the strap, the sides and the heel and they just look good, they look well made, really fancy um, but still really easy to wear and I do feel like these are going to be really easy to style in spring and summer with cute dresses and jeans, like you could just wear this kind of shoe with anything. Another pair of shoes I got are these from Steve Madden. So they're these shoes here which are very similar, quite similar style but I really wanted to show them to you because I really do feel like when you have a shoe um, in a style that you know 
you love, that you wear a lot, you can wear in the day, you can wear at night, it's versatile, you really get your use out of it, also in a colour that you know is going to slot really easily into your wardrobe and go with many outfits, then you can, I think, afford to go for a great pair of shoes that do cost a little bit more, that are going to last you a really long time, and I picked these to show you because I think they're the absolute perfect spring shoe that you can also wear in summer, you can wear them really casually in the day, you can also wear these um, for an occasion look, they're just a really classic looking shoe that I think you can wear for years and they're not really going to go too far out of style, so um, yeah, these are Steve Madden, uh, I think I picked these up from June actually. Next I have another bag and I'm excited to show you this because I've never had this brand before but I've always kind of loved it, I've just never gone for it before. And I actually picked this bag up when they were having a promotion so I don't know if it was in the sale or if it was just part of a promotion but in any case it was heavily discounted which is why I thought oh do you know what I'm just gonna get that because I think it was less than half price and I'd had my eye on it for a while because I always kind of I follow them on Instagram, I love their bags. Anyway it's the Cambridge Satchel Company. Do any of you guys remember remember the ad, I think it was a Google ad, and it was kind of showcasing um, small businesses and how they grew with the power of the internet. And the Cambridge Satchel Company was the subject of one of the ads, and honestly you should um, search it on YouTube because it was such a good ad. So all of these bags were literally like homemade, and they just grew and grew, and now they're quite a big company, and they have a store in Covent Garden, and they had a store in Edinburgh when I went, and I saw this bag and I thought, gosh that's so me, I've got to have that. Then it was in the sale, so I got it. Here is the bag. It's honestly gorgeous, like I can't describe it. To say that these bags, they are a higher price point than a high street price, but they are still what I would call an affordable bag. They're not designer. I think they're in the region between like 100, 200, maybe some of them exceed 200, but I, you know, that's roughly like in that region. And the quality of these bags is just unreal. So they're all handmade, literally handmade in Britain. It's just so simple and classic looking and I just think it looks very expensive. This is one of their patent Saffiano finishes. So they do patent, they do Saffiano, they also do a smooth leather. They do a few different finishes so um, this is the one that I really liked because I love something that's like a little bit shiny. I love this kind of like round yet structured shape of the bag. I think that's really unique and I really wanted to include this in my haul um, to show you guys the brand because I'm not sure how familiar you guys are with the brand and they really are beautiful so I'd really recommend going on their website and checking out some of their bags but this is mine I'm so happy with it and this is going to be such a gorgeous addition to my spring wardrobe so that's everything I have to show you for today I hope that you're feeling spendy and you want to buy something special for yourself um obviously I cannot keep all of these things otherwise I'm going to go bankrupt please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you're new remember to turn post notifications on for my channel and remember to come back tomorrow for the last day of my spring fashion edit haul week. It's been fun guys, it's been really fun, I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!